when I say people don't believe me, like Elon's the king of AI, but people are like, oh, you're biased. You know, you're a fanboy. So I'm going to leave it to somebody else. All right. Somebody else that's maybe more popular than me, right? M more prestigious than me. I don't know. But let's get into the video. Known for some very uh, lofty predictions here, but uh, talk to us about why investors would be excited about this if this were to become true. Well, I think we have to start off with what strikes me as the most interesting yeah. and important point, and that is Elon Musk is the king of AI. People don't realize it, but he is building an ecosystem that is comprised of these robo taxis. It's comprised. People don't realize it. The king of AI. You know, you got Michael Jackson, the king of pop, right? You got NVIDIA CEO, the king of chips. But people want to say it's artificial intelligence. No, the king of chips, the king of the hardware to AI. But the king of AI is someone else. That's Elon Musk, right? Even just chat GPT. That's a side project of Elon's, right? He started that out. Shout out to Sam. He went in a different direction. No not, no disrespect. But again, Elon, it's got Elon's name on it. Elon's exception, right? And that outperformed Google, which most people would think because Google had all the access to the data, the king of data, that they were gonna win that race, but they did not. And so also, you know, kind of a knock at Tesla when people say, oh, we have all the autonomous driving footage and all the data and we're gonna win. It's not necessarily guaranteed, right? Because at the same time, Google didn't win the artificial intelligence race and they had massive amounts of actual data, right? LOMs and et cetera. You know, OpenAI did very good for themselves and ended up, you know, David Goliath type situation versus when you're looking at Tesla, most people are like, oh, we got all this full self-driving video and nobody else got as much data and whoever got the data is going to win. <clears throat> if I was being honest, not quite because the same would apply. Google should have beat OpenAI and it didn't. So let's continue. The king of data is Elon Musk and the king of pop is Michael Jackson and the king of chips is Jensen. Prize of all the satellites in the sky. Does Jensen Wong know that, that Elon well, Musk so took he's, his crown? So he's hardware. Oh, okay. So at some point. See, you got to let these normies know. Isn't it Jensen? Isn't it Jensen? Like he sells the hardware, right? Like doesn't make him king as of now. And then you still got AMD and et cetera. But again, no. And then shoot, the king would still be TSMC, to be quite honest. TSMC is the actual maker. NVIDIA just give him the patents. TSMC got NVIDIA AMD on a leash. How about that? You see, that's what I'm saying. I, I saw a meme where it was like, you know, NVIDIA had everybody on the leash, all like Microsoft, you know, a, 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 X, A1, whatever the heck. It had everybody who was actually involved in meta, et cetera, on a leash. And it was like, yeah, you know, NVIDIA rules all that. And who got that person on the leash? Well, it'd be got dang TSMC with the puppets, with NVIDIA, AMD, and everybody else who attempts to make a semiconductor uh, chip. They manufacture it, so they're actually the big juggernaut. Point down the okay. future, it's going to be commoditized. Elon Musk is going to be the king of all of these shiny AI things okay. uh, that we use in the world, and especially if we do use robo taxis at some point. And otherwise, it just doesn't make sense for saying that this is going to be an eight trillion dollar uh, company. Because if we think about the robo taxi itself, uh, it may hit the road in 2028. At that point, it could be 50 million dollars. 2032, maybe 1.5 billion dollars, maybe meaningfully profitable. Uh, at the end of the 2030s. To say you're going to get a 10 times fold increase off of that alone, it just doesn't make sense. But this is also a battery on wheels. It's actually distributed power. Uh, it can be driven to places. Utilities might rent it. And then the other thing is that I learned today, I know, the look of fascinating. She named off a lot. Utilities, artificial intelligence with robots, and then also with the autonomous driving. Now, this guy's looking at it like it's crazy. But, okay, you probably look like that when Apple was what it was prior to its actual, let's say, added value strategy when it came out with the iPhone, the tablets, the services and everything. Okay, maybe not Apple because you're going to lie. What about Amazon? When Amazon was initially books and it entered into retail, people were looking at Amazon like they were crazy. Like, why are you going to retail and other products? Your books, they, they crushed it. Then all of a sudden, that's consumer products. And then they got into AWS, like IT, you know, infrastructure as a service. People looked at it like, you're really stupid. You're not a tech company like that. You're not involved in 
infrastructure for a database and what are you doing? And then they crushed it in that also. So again, people never know anything. They could sit there and be skeptical, but they usually sit there and lose. Let's continue. Fascination on your face is a look is of fascination. Fasc is that fascination or confusion on my face? I, right I, now? I, I don't, fascination, <laughs> I think, which is what I had a really interesting conversation with one of our analysts here, Stephen Tan, and he was yeah. talking about everything that Elon Musk is doing with all these different companies, and it's just so, so compelling. Uh, you know, and, and another point, yeah. he was a, the founder of OpenAI. People don't often think about that. They think about it with Sam Altman, uh, but the Tesla computer itself is as strong as these computers, right. and they're hooking them up, and there's computer power. So my point here is this robo taxi is not just an automated car that might take you and I, you know, from point A to point B or, or you know, something along those lines. Yeah, it's gotcha. so much more. And I think that that's what her big bet is. Well, and you don't got it. You say, look, I got you. No, you don't. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. You lost in a barbecue sauce, just like everything else. And then remember, guys, this is the actual meme that I'm talking about right here when I was talking about NVIDIA, walking to all these other companies, AWS, Microsoft. XAI or A1 or whatever the heck it's called, Meta, and then you got OpenAI and et cetera. Like he's walking them on the leash and you got NVIDIA right there, which is quite funny because NVIDIA doesn't even actually make semiconducting chips. It's actually TSMC. So TSMC got him on an actual lease, like along with Intel, uh, IBM, NVIDIA, it has all them on the leash. They make the chips, okay? Shoot. If they cut them off, there would be no NVIDIA. Like, that's all they have to do. NVIDIA has no foundry. It has no ability to make their own chips, right? I mean, at least, at least at Tesla, we can redirect. <laughs> and our whole business is not just to make chips. Our whole business deals with other things. So we could actually convert other chips and reprogram them, something we did during the pandemic. But at the end of the day, NVIDIA couldn't even do that because they have nothing. Right. They don't have those foundries. Now, again, I'm not saying they're a terrible company because of that. I mean, they're still great at designing and then also selling on the retail. But as far as manufacturing, they don't have that capacity. I mean, they're just really, once again, getting their orders filled by TSMC. So TSMC has all them on the leash. And well, at least NVIDIA, AMD and et cetera. So you got to really look at the bigger picture. People just kind of get hyped because the stock went up. And then they're just like, oh my gosh, that, you know, that's the future. He's the king of everything and in the galaxy. It's like, bro, a day before this, you didn't understand actual technology when it comes down to this. <laughs> you didn't understand artificial intelligence. You forget Elon Musk was the founder of OpenAI. And then you're like, no, nah, I still don't matter. You know, it's this, and this NVIDIA and et cetera. You wouldn't even realize the potential for AI if it wasn't for OpenAI. If it wasn't for ChatGPT, you still wouldn't even know much about artificial intelligence like that actually brought it to you and you were like okay that's what it translates to that's what artificial and translates to artificial intelligence translates into chat gpt oh my gosh this is amazing versus prior what did it translate a bad siri a bad application on apple that the artificial intelligence was whack wiggity wiggity whack shoot apple still has an provided artificial intelligence in their devices at a good level, right? We're still waiting for the iPhone 16 that came out and it was supposed to be built around artificial intelligence and the, the software is not even there. Apple, you don't have to even make the hardware. It's just the software. Where are you at, Marcus? Huh? Other YouTubers who are like, it's still okay. I would, you know, let, let Elon do something like that. You cut him no slack. He's a liar. He's a conspiracy theorist, like all this other stuff. But other people can just under deliver and you, you just brush it off, right? Come on, man. Everyone hates Tesla. This is why I tell you. That's why I named the show. And also, guys, for those people who don't know, Everyone Hates Chris is a TV show. So I kind of did the show Everyone Hates Tesla. And of course, it's a play on it. I don't often talk about it, but a good amount of people dislike it. And it's not majority, but I just say that for the show purpose. But then when we dive into the show, you see what I'm talking about, right? So people in the comment section that just kind of see that. And you hear the series, they're like, you don't know nothing about Tesla. You don't know nothing about Tesla. Don't talk about them. They do hard work. Why are you doing that? Be quiet, all right? Sit down somewhere. Open up your own channel if you want to tell somebody something. But don't come over here with that nonsense. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And it's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Let's get it.